hello friends and uh, welcome to my new video today i'll be talking about uh, a movie that i've recently seen and uh, it's really made a mark it's it's one of the better films i've seen uh, this year and uh, actually uh, as far as good cinema goes one feels a uh, privilege that uh, although just about half the year has gone by we have been privileged to see some really really good movies uh, till now you know be it the great indian kitchen or uh, paglait or ram prasad ki tervi or uh, joji there have been some fantastic movies that have uh, you know come out this year and we've been uh, lucky enough to watch them on the various OTTs despite not being able to go to cinema halls to watch movies but uh, this particular movie that i've seen a couple of days ago is right up there with one of the best i've seen so far this year and it is martin prakat's wonderful nata now it's uh, it's it's a fantastic movie it's a socio political thriller uh, nayata which uh, in malayalam means the hunt and uh, you know the amazing thing about this movie is this movie is about the hunter and the hunted as well and ironically in this movie both the hunter and the hunted is the police it's a story of uh, corruption greed power play casteism how uh, politics has en enveloped each of these elements so tightly within itself and uh, which is really the main cause of the rot of democracy in our country and uh, Nayata is uh, is a very vivid and stark uh, representation of that. It's a story of uh, three police officers who inadvertently get involved in a hit and run case and uh, you know they run from uh, the police being police themselves. And it's a story of how uh, you know the important role caste plays in indian politics and uh, the corruption of power and uh, the corruption of position and how even seemingly the mighty force of the police are mere pawns at the hands of larger forces and larger powers and uh, uh, you know there is a scene uh, in the movie where one of the protagonists uh you know deliberately frames an innocent man at the behest of uh you know orders from a superior and he says a dialogue which in effect uh, is that even thugs and goons have the right to refuse uh, such orders we don't and that actually tells you the story of uh, the state of the country where even the police are mere pawns and uh, they have to act uh, depending on what kind of orders they get from whom and uh, nayata is a fantastic movie it's gritty it's hard hitting it's uh, very very uh, honest and stark in its uh, depiction of the state of affairs amongst the police force and uh, you know it is uh, it is definitely uh, a gloomy picture but uh, also very real so you cannot escape it and uh, the way uh, martin prakash handles the subject is absolutely fantastic and uh, it has it has some wonderful music by vishnu vijay the photography by uh, shiju khalid is as always brilliant and uh, it's it's a movie that uh, you know it's a hard hitting movie but don't miss it it's it's a fantastic movie it's as i said one of the best movies to have come out uh, this year 
and uh, the end of the movie is uh, quite open-ended you know we are left with our own interpretations of what we think is going to happen next and uh, it definitely is a movie which uh, will make you think argue and discuss with uh, fellow viewers it's a fantastic movie one of the best of the uh, nighter now uh, in this episode uh, you know i want to talk about three other movies which are also from uh, south india and uh, you know one of the reasons why i wanted to uh, speak about these movies is uh, the quality of cinema that we uh, are seeing from regional india or uh, you know the non bollywood india is absolutely astounding and uh, you know there are movies being made in uh, punjabi or bengali or uh, malayalam movies kannada movies tamil movies which are ap- assamese movies which are uh, which are really really uh, ground breaking in so many ways and uh, unfortunately i get a feeling that uh, they are still uh, regionalized and you know the these movies are yet to get the kind of mass appeal or mass uh, viewing uh, which they actually deserve for any lovers of cinema you know language or uh, region shouldn't be a barrier you know and uh, at a time when the best bollywood can offer us or mainstream bollywood can offer us is radhe that's the best that we are getting from mainstream bollywood i think it's time we look at these uh, other regional movies a little more seriously and uh, we'll be surprised at the amount of gems and the number of brilliant movies we'll unearth from there I just spoke about Nayata which is which is absolutely a superb movie. I want to talk about three more uh, South Indian movies which I have seen recently and I think they are absolutely fabulous. Uh, one of them is a Tamil movie called Ambir Kinnial. I'm sorry if I get the pronunciation uh, incorrect, but Ambir Kinnial is uh, a wonderful uh, Tamil movie that I've recently seen. It's available on uh, prime amazon prime and it's uh, the 2021 tamil remake of uh, the malayalam movie helen which uh, i think released in 2019 it was a fabulous movie helen and this is uh, an equally well made remake uh, in its tamil avatar and uh, it starts uh, it uh, it's produced by uh, uh arun and who also acts in the movie along with his daughter keerthi who is uh, the main protagonist in the, the title role of uh, anbir kenyal and it's a fantastic movie about uh, this wonderful sweet lovable girl who is loved by one and all and uh, she stays with her father and unknown to her father she uh, has a boyfriend who is from a different uh, caste a different religion which is why she is hesitant uh, to tell her father about him knowing his views uh, on such matters but uh, they have a wonderful relation father and daughter and what happens is uh, one night when she goes missing and uh, she works in this uh, fast food center in a shopping mall and she goes missing from there and what happens after that is what this movie is about for those of you who've seen helen the original malayalam movie you'll know what it's about but it is a fantastic movie it is a superb thriller with uh, absolutely wonderful performances by arun and uh, kirti and uh, it's a must watch it's a must watch you know for those who've seen both uh, the malayalam and the tamil movies please don't compare because they're two different movies and yes we always remember that uh, helen you know the malayalam movie is the original that was made first a couple of years ago but see this movie on its own as an individual separate movie 
and you won't be disappointed. It is a fantastic movie. Anbir Ke Neal, a wonderful movie. The third movie I want to talk about uh, after Nayata and Anbir Ke Neal is uh, yet again uh, at another Tamil movie. And it has uh, again uh, similar premises in terms of uh, or let's say similar themes or uh, a commonality of themes with Nayata in terms of casteism and uh, you know the strong role caste plays in Indian politics and uh, however the treatment and the take is completely different as opposed to Nayata. Nayata is this gritty, raw, stark, hard-hitting movie and the film I'm talking about is a social satire and a comedy uh, called Mandela. It's a wonderful movie uh, and uh, it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's set in a village wh which is divided uh, between two political parties you know one family really but two political parties and uh, an election which will decide which party comes to power and in the event of a tie the attention turns to this absolutely unknown unnoticed unthought of common man a man called Nelson Mandela who's actually a barber in the village and he's really used to a life of anonymity and you know no one really bothered about him or no one you know his existence doesn't matter to anyone till the time the election results are a tie and his vote is the important vote and what happens to him then and how he is treated and how he gets caught up in the cesspool of caste politics is uh, what Mandela is about but uh, the approach is is comedy and uh, you know it's a satire so you know there are there are a lot of unpleasant truths which are also revealed and uh, you know presented to the audience but in a light manner in a in a uh, warm and uh, pleasant manner as pleasant as possible and Yogi Babu as uh, Nelson Mandela puts in this fabulous, fabulous performance of a, you know an absolutely unknown, uncared for barber, you know, living this quiet, anonymous life where no one really is even bothered about his existence. And suddenly, how he reacts when the spotlight is on him and the entire focus of the village is on him and uh, you know his decision and his choice and uh, <laughs> it's again it's again a wonderful movie the end again is uh, quite open-ended you're uh, free to figure out who you think has won and uh, what has happened after that it's a pretty open-ended uh, uh, conclusion but what a fabulous movie what a fantastic movie uh, Mandela is a must watch. I think uh, Mandela is also there uh, on Prime. I think it's there on Amazon Prime and uh, it's a must watch. It's a definite watch. Uh, now I've spoken about two Tamil movies and one uh, Malayalam movie and the fourth movie I want to talk about today is uh, a Telugu movie that I've seen and uh, it's it's a wonderful movie by Jayant Kali and uh, a completely modern and a fresh look at uh, love and the movie is funnily titled Love Life and Pakodi and uh, it's it's a wonderful take on modern relationships of a couple you know Arun and Rhea who seem to be this young urban modern couple uh, in a relationship and uh, this movie beautifully charts the dynamics of their relationship and uh, is is a very uh, fresh and modern outlook on love 
you know it has some beautiful moments it has some very surprising and very uh, i wouldn't say shocking but uh, they definitely uh, caught me off guard kind of moments and uh, uh, it's it's a very very modern take on uh, love and it's so beautifully uh, depicted by jayant kali i think love life pakori is uh, a much uh, better movie than uh, what some reviews and some ratings suggest i think it's a must watch uh, this is also available on amazon prime and uh, do watch it just to get a fresh uh, approach and a completely different outlook on love it's it's a modern take on uh, human relationships and a beautifully made movie don't miss it so these were my uh, four movies which i recommend uh, you to watch over this weekend you know it uh, covers a variety of genre like a thriller a very raw and gritty hard hitting political thriller a social satire and uh, a rom-com so they're four very different kind of movies all coming from south india tamil telugu and malayalam wonderful movies don't miss them just as a recap here are the movies again the first one as i said was nayata this uh, brilliantly uh, raw and gritty thriller then was uh, anbir kenial which is this uh, tamil thriller a must watch then is the other tamil movie the social satire mandela and the last one is uh, the brilliant telugu rom-com love life and pakori wonderful uh, movies from uh, southern india to be seen and enjoyed by people all over india and all over the world thanks to the ott channels which bring these movies to us and expose us to such wonderful uh, cinema and uh, i also hope that uh, mainstream bollywood you know picks up some of these and uh, you know pulls its socks up and uh, gives us some movies uh, which we can cherish as well happy viewing and until the next time bye for now